Hey k Bays, you are now tuned in to Keeping Up With K, as you already know. And today I am coming at you with another wonderful, beautiful, gorgeous nail video. Um, if you would like to see how I prep my nails and do everything for my nails and the things that I typically use when doing my nails, please go check out my last video, which is way more detailed than this one. On this one, I'm just getting straight into it. I just took that thumb and I dropped a small B right in the middle to just start building that apex, which these are curved nails. So um, I love that it's a curve and the apex is not really something that I have to build a whole lot on. But you know, you still got to build one just so they're strong. I went to the hair store and I bought another brush thinking that it was going to be helpful. But it's just, I think it's just the Kiss Acrylic because I'm still going in with that same Kiss Acrylic and Monomer because I still had it left over. I think I just need a different brush and some better quality acrylic. So both of those things will be coming at you hopefully for the next video that I post. But I'm just using multiple beads throughout this set of nails. As you can see, I just dropped one right in the middle, work it down, and then I continue to just drop beads towards the end of that tip. And then I work my way up to the top to the and work the cuticle area. So yeah, I don't know if y'all are noticing how much I'm having to wipe that brush off. I had to use two different pieces of um, tissue. If you can see, the first one is completely coated with the acrylic. And I'm just having to keep, like, every time I'm working with that acrylic, it's like I keep having to wipe, 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 wipe. Just so that the acrylic does not harden up that brush. Like, this acrylic it is so hard to work with like and i've learned to work with it but now i feel like now that i'm getting more used to doing nails and i feel like i'm getting better i just need better products to work with not saying that this is a bad product it's a good beginner product and i mean i do what i can with it but i gotta let the kids go it's time to give it up So now I am beginning filing the free edges of the nails just to help better shape the nails as I begin using my e-file. 
Um, if y'all can tell, I had to use my tripod. Remember last time on my last video, I had to like turn the camera and do all this crazy stuff with it just so y'all can see me following my nails. But I remember I have a tripod and I don't know why I forgot that. But this time I put y'all at an angle so that y'all can see me following from the bottom angle. It's still a little, I'm still going out of the frame a little bit because I'm still getting used to working with this camera in this way and not being able to actually see myself and what i'm doing because in my hair videos i can see what i'm doing but on this i can't see what i'm doing so bear with me y'all so now i'm just taking my e-file i'm telling y'all i don't know what drill bit this is i look i'm not a professional i don't know i just know it's the smaller drill bit of this type that's on there it's like this is the smallest one of that shape on the um in the set of drill bits i usually use this just to work around the cuticle area it works great for me i don't know if i'm supposed to be using it but i use it and my nails come out great so if you end up getting this one it'll be that smaller drill bit of those three big round drill bits that all look alike and i'm just really working that cuticle area um it's important to file around the cuticle area just so that you don't experience any lifting and you just want to make sure that it's nice and clean. You don't want excess acrylic and everything around your cuticles because it just makes for a very messy set. So I'm just also working that drill along that nail. Typically, I don't do the, the side to side, like how people drill sidewall to sidewall and just work their way down. I personally can't do that. Just I think it's because I'm doing it on myself. So I usually work the cuticle and then i work up and down and then i mostly hand file because when i first started doing my nails i didn't have a drill i had to do everything with my hand file so i typically do the sidewall to sidewall and just work side to side um with the hand file so you'll just see me going up and down with this file and working on those bottom um, parts of the nail just to keep that nice arch that's in the nail but for the most part as far as me getting that nail nice and smooth i'm going to be using the file So the left hand is the side that has been filed and drilled and the right side had not been filed and drilled. And y'all, this is the longest part for me. Filing is the longest part because I love to hand file rather than working with the e-file. I just really love the e-file for my cuticles. It's way easier for the cuticles because when I was using just the hand file, I would cut my cuticles so bad with them new fresh um, square files. It would be crazy, but now that i have the e-file so much easier but i just love to hand file just to get everything just smooth so this is really the longest part for me it'll take me at least i will say 30 to 45 minutes just to do both of my hands because i am a hand filer So now I have washed my hands and I have buffed my nails out. You want to make sure to buff your nails out just so that you can get rid of all those lines that you may have gotten from hand filing and using the e-file. And you want to make sure to wash your hands just to get that excess dust off and to avoid funguses and things like that. You just want to make sure your hands are clean. And for somebody like me, I don't use base coat. So you just want to make sure that that polish application is super smooth. So that's why the buffing and the washing is going to be very important. So now I'm going in with this LA Colors Color Craze in the number 218. Um, it does not have a name on here, y'all. So we just going to call it Honey Mustard because that's what it looked like to me. It looked like honey mustard honey dijon or something like that it looked like something that i would put on my hot dog or something so oh yeah matter of fact it's 
<laughs> Y'all, this say sunshine, honey. This say sunshine. I'm trying to name it. I'm trying to name this thing honey mustard. And this say sunshine right here on the side. So we're going to call it honey mustard in the sunshine. Um, so yeah, this color is honey mustard in the sunshine. LA Colors number 218. And it is very pigmented. I believe that I bought this for like, it was either a dollar or 98 cents. So... For this to be the LA Colors, the same brand that I used last time when I did the slime nails, I had to use a coat of white on the bottom as my background. And then I had to use three coats of that creamy neon just to get the color that I wanted because it was so unpigmented. So I'm very surprised and very satisfied actually with how this turned out because I only had to use two coats and I didn't have to use any background colors. So... I highly recommend this if you're looking for like a really cute, cheap summer color. So now I'm going in with that Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat and I'm just laying that onto a cap so that I can begin doing my rhinestones. So for this skull that I'm using, I actually didn't use any of that gel top coat. I used a bead of acrylic just because it's a bigger stone. So I wanted it to stay on longer. These are from the Swarovski Crystal Collection. Um, just a random pack that I found at Michael's. I believe for this skull and then another skull, it was like a gray skull, which I believe I lost it. I can't even find it, y'all. Um, it was like $7, but they had a 50% off sale. So I think I got them for like $3.50. And then I also just got a pack of 70 different size Swarovski crystals for about, I believe, $4 because those were 50% off as well. And now I'm just doing kind of like a freestyle and I'm just placing them just all around that skull these are actually recycled rhinestones because i'm telling y'all we are doing nails on a budget honey so these are actually recycled what i do typically is when i take my nail off when i take my nails off um i typically don't soak them off which is bad y'all because you should soak them off that's why my natural nails look a little crazy because i just take another nail and i just pop them off do not do what i do please soak your nails in acetone but what i typically do is i take like a pair of nippers and then i clip off those rhinestones off of each nail and then i soak them in acetone just to get that excess um polish and everything that was on them off and then I reused them so that's what i did because i wore this actually same design that's on this nail i wore that on my vacation i went to gallenberg a couple weeks ago and i did the same exact thing to this nail it doesn't even look like these were ever used before because i soaked them in acetone so just a little hack um when you want to reuse these do not throw them away all you got to do is soak them in acetone and then you are good to go so this is what they're looking like. I'm just straightening that out. And then I'm going to start on the other hand. For the pinky, I'm doing something a little bit different. And I'm just taking some of those different size stones and um, just placing them all over. I'm using the end of an old Kiss acrylic brush that I have because I don't have like one of those little dotters or a rhinestone grabber, which I need to get. Y'all, it's so much stuff that I'm about to get because I 
have like so much more nail videos in store for y'all so it's so much stuff that i'm about to stock on just so that i can make these videos so much better and so much more just professional for y'all even though i'm not a professional but y'all get what i'm saying but for now we got to work with what we got because i know some of y'all y'all don't have all the nail stuff at home so we in this together so i'm just placing those nails in various spots on that nails and i'm just going back in with that miracle gel and um using more as i need so once i run out putting them those stones on because i use some to pick up the stone and then i dip the bottom of the stone in it to stick it on the nail um, i'm just using what i need progressively and as far as this miracle gel top coat goes this is a step two um this is probably the closest thing that you are going to get to gel if you do not have like a gel kit at home like me this is going to be the closest thing you're, that you're going to get to gel because y'all when i tell y'all this stuff dries so quick and it makes your nails look so good and i know when I want something that's really gel-like, I usually do two coats of the Miracle Gel. And it looks just like gel, y'all. And it dries so quickly. Typically, I like to do my nails before bed. Because I I just like to go to sleep and know like when I wake up, my nails will be dry. Because I'm just the type, I don't like to sit and wait on my nails to dry. Even if it's only like 15 or 20 minutes. Which you can get away with that with this 15 or 20 minutes. Personally, I like to wait at least an hour. Just because I like my nails to be perfect. But this will typically dry in about 15 to 20 minutes. So this stuff is like the truth if you're like me and you do not have a gel kit yet. Which is also on the way. So right now I'm just taking that Miracle Gel and I'm just working it all over the nails. So right here i'm taking that little nail lamp and i'm just going to cure with those songs for 60 seconds because i haven't put any top coat on them so now i'm going in with that miracle gel top coat and i'm just putting it on the nail polish and now i'm putting it on the stones just so that i am able just to lock that in and then i'm going to cure again just to make sure that everything is set in dry and good to go So this is the finished look y'all i absolutely love these um i would have to say this is one of my favorite sets thus far like i love the curved nails i think this might be my favorite style as well i didn't have to do so much work building that apex up it was just easy i would say the hardest part was the filing just because they are curved nails but this set looks amazing and i am really feeling it i've been getting compliments all week long so if you love this nail video as much as me please give this video a thumbs up and comment below and tell me what type of colors and designs that you would like to see next that's all that i have for you today thank you for watching and i'll see you later